Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you a 3D speckled oatmeal knitted nail. Kind of long, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. And if you guys haven't seen my first video, you can click right here to watch it right now because I have done knitted nails before. So today I'm gonna be using a new gel for me. This is Leaf Gel, and this is their MDA Effect Gel. Basically, it's a gel that's quite a thick consistency and it has what looks like sand in it. Like literally, it feels like sand. And these gels are quite unique. So what you wanna do is pile all of the gel up at the cuticle of the nail. So go straight to the top, just like I did in my Alice in Wonderland gel video. If you haven't seen that video for some reason, you can click right here. You're going to drag all the product from the top down to the tip of the nail and try to keep this pretty even. You're really just looking for coverage. Make sure that the color is pretty opaque because you're only going to do one layer of this gel. The next step is apply a thick top gel. This is going to help encase all of the grittiness in that gel by evening out the surface. So you don't need to apply too much pressure, just float the gel over top so that it levels. If you look at the white lines that's created in the shine across the surface, it now looks a lot more even. However, it's still not perfect. So what we're gonna do is first clean the inhibition layer, which is the sticky layer that's left over after you cure. And then we're gonna take a file. You can take anywhere from a 150 to a 180 and just lightly go over the surface. You don't wanna file so much that you go through the clear and the color coat, so just be careful. I'm gonna brush away the dust and then clean again. Now you can add your top gel, and because we're doing knitted nails, I want it to be matte, so I'm adding a matte top gel. After you cure, again, you want to wipe away the inhibition layer, and now you'll see that I have a complete matte effect. Next, I'm going to take the MDA gel, and I've actually mixed this with my design powder from Presto to make it even thicker. And then I'm going to take a pointed brush to drag out the very tips to give it that rounded effect. You're gonna cure and then go back in with your lines on each side. I'm now taking a teal colored gel and again mixing that with my Presto Design Powder. And then, I didn't show you this, but I actually placed a hunk of gel on the nail first. You can also place an acrylic bead and let that dry and then put your 3D gel on top of it. You don't want this entire pom-pom to just be 3D gel, otherwise it's not gonna dry or cure all the way through. So I just place that on top and then I take my tweezers to stipple in this texture to make our pom-pom. When you're done, you want to tame the fro so that A, it looks more clean and polished and B, um, you're not gonna have these little crumbs coming off your nails. So now all you have to do is cure this layer and we're done guys. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, you should subscribe so that you don't miss this plaid design that's coming next week. And if you haven't seen the video that I posted before this, you can also click here to watch the Piggy Globe Nails or Aqua Nails. And I also want to announce that I'm having a giveaway coming really soon, you guys. So um, if you aren't already following me on my social media, go make sure you do that because I'm going to be announcing it there. Plus, you guys get sneak peeks to these videos. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this design. Bye, guys.